fantastic for him. If 2021 proved anything, it's that the age of civilian spaceflight is here. If you're rich, famous, or you know somebody who is. A billionaire paid for three civilian astronauts to join him on a three-day SpaceX trip around the Earth, raising an astonishing $220 million for St. Jude Children's Hospital. Welcome to our Dragon Capsule here in space. I just want you all to know that we're doing this for you. Jeff Bezos sent 82-year-old Wally Funk to space, then 90-year-old William Shatner. So what does 2022 hold in store? To the next generation of dreamers, if we can do this, just imagine what you can do. A lot of unfinished business. Oh, Richard Branson went to space over the summer, but his Virgin Galactic still has not carried a single paying passenger as they work out redesign issues. They hope to start flying the backlog of famous paying passengers by the end of 2022, including Justin Bieber, Lady Gaga, and Tom Hanks, each paying at least a quarter million dollars. Next month, SpaceX founder Elon Musk plans to test his monster Starship rocket that NASA hopes to use to send astronauts back to the moon later this decade. Some of those astronauts could be in the new astronaut class of 2021 just announced. Ten candidates chosen from 12,000 applicants. Jeff Bezos, Blue Origin, plans to continue carrying paying passengers for quick 10-minute joy rides to space. But Blue Origin's bigger project is this, a new commercial space station called Orbital Reef, a sort of floating business park ready in five to eight years. Three, two, one. But the coolest mission of 2022, NASA's DART, will purposely crash into an asteroid's moon at 115,000 miles per hour next fall. The DART mission is to basically go hit an asteroid and see if we can move it. NASA hopes to use that know-how to deflect future asteroids on a collision course with Earth. We had this unique opportunity to demonstrate the method and also to learn exactly what happens when you crash a spacecraft at high speed into an asteroid. But the U.S. is not alone. China is going big on space, already building its own space station with plans to put humans on the moon as soon as 2030. From international competitors to America's rich and famous, <laughs> Space Race 2022 is about to heat up. Analysts say China is dead serious about becoming the global leader in space and even space weapons. And there's anxiety in the White House and also in the Pentagon that China could soon outpace the United States in its space program, in its lunar program, and also as it relates to hypersonic weapons. Guys, back to you. Tom, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.